What's going on guys? David the Dead here with Pokemon Uranium version. Now this came out, I was able to snag it before they took down the download link, so I can't provide a link for you. Um, but I'm sure you can find it by other means online. I mean, it's out there, so it's definitely going to be on like file sharing sites and stuff. But I'm not advocating that. I'm just saying if you need, if you feel the need to play this yourself, it's out there. But anyway, let's keep going. I did load into the menu before, so there are multiple save files, so that's really cool. Uh, we're just going to go right into it. I know basically nothing about this, besides the fact I know there is a Nuzlocke mode. I know this is 1.0 uh, for the game. Yes. The regular one. I know nothing about it, so... Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> My name is Bambo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? I guess the adventure? Usually it's like ZX in space. I'll have you journey across the region, collecting specimens for my research. Along the way, you're sure to encounter all kinds of people. Some will be willing to cooperate and some not, but you should try and be friendly with everybody. We don't want a bad reputation, right? People will ask for your help solving myster mysteries, mysteries, or lending a, them a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy. There's danger everywhere. Whether it be wild creatures or people with ill intent, you will need to be on your guard. We keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid, and I'm sure you'll pull through just fine. Uh, I guess we'll look at controls just in case. Uh, okay, so it's okay. Z, X, and C. Okay. So, hold while running, exit and cancel, or see. I think you can also use space, which is usually what I do. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. oh, what is that thing? We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. But there's still so much we don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Hmm. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each Pokemon has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Probably. Ah, but I'll tell you more on your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill out this form here. Who are you? Oh, that's kind of cool. I guess I'll be that guy. Because it's the guy. Well, I guess that could be like a gender fluid kind of person there. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be this one. Yes. Right there. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll just be boring. I usually do all caps, so I know when to pay attention. Dave! Yes. Dave, are you ready? Your journey, your story, is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! Ten years ago, we moved to Beale Beach City. The largest city in Tandor. Do I have a scouter on? Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Oh! Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Uh, of course. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Dave. The Tandor region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright. Until It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, do you, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. 
Uh, I just noticed there's a little, like, line going from, uh, the character who's talking. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the... Uh, it's starting again. Either we need to reset the thermometer or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate, now! Lucille! You have to leave too! Dots. Lucille! All the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. Radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the area, surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. That's so sad! The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed, he became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Dave was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. What a way to start off the game. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Dave and their childhood, th and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region. Uh, cool, hold that one back. As a trainer, and so David's journey began. Okay. Shut up, phone. Dave, come downstairs, you're late. Okay, well, this is, uh, this is interesting. Yeah, so. Dave, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum, seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. <sighs> always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Blah. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. Running shoes? Running shoes! Sorry. To run, hold Z. You can toggle auto run in the menu. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you too. And I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to the nice professor for me, will you? If you wouldn't mind stopping again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, she actually has a bedroom. Ooh, Moki Town. Who are you? Oh, Dave, you're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Uh, maybe I want to level up. You don't know me. What's this? Who are you? What is that thing? So, you're finally heading out on an adventure, huh? You take after your old man, then, huh? Eh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I haven't had any caffeine or food yet today. So, that's it's probably going to happen. My husband's been an admirer of your father, you know. Okay. Who are you? Like a green squirrel thing. I don't know. Oh, uh, there's a blue one. The town of fresh beginnings. Uh -huh. It looked like a blue one. Whoa, water noises. I wonder what kind of Pokemon lives in the pond. Probably just Magikarp. Yeah, probably. I think I'd like a Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong against bugs. Monkey Town is so nice and peaceful, and everyone knows one another. I'd much rather live here than a big city. 
This is a nice town. This, I gotta say this. I'm liking this one better than any of them. I bought my son the new video game all the children are playing these days. But he won't put it down even for a second. What are you playing? What are you playing, buddy? The new video game? It's called Pokemon Red Version. Oh, jeez. They started to make a video game about their real life. I was trying to read the sign. Oh. Well. Alrighty, then. Let's, uh, this way. Another old lady! Alright. Whoa, it's a dude! Today's the day you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be too. Uh, remember that day, all those years ago? Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. It's an auspicious day indeed. If you're looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in the north town. He's not very patient, so you probably hurry along and join him. Well, maybe I want to look at his bedroom and stuff. Mr. Theo only has a Wii, and not a Wii U. No wonder you always wanted to come over to play yours. What a jerk! It's okay, I did the same thing with, like, Xbox back in the day at my buddy's house. And GameCube. He had a GameCube, and I didn't. Old man! So you're probably going to be the big breadwinner now, eh, Dave? I should pop by and visit your auntie now and again. <laughs> you stay away from my auntie. You creepy old man. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandora are native to this region. But there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Ooh! So it's not all entirely new stuff. Hi, hey, what up? How's that, Theo? Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen, because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Dave. I, I can already tell I'm not gonna like this little kid, like, at all. Oh, it's a little black Charizard thing. Hey, this isn't Dave and, uh, your friend, uh, Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, you can't even remember my name. It's Theo. Theo! Right, right, uh, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you will both make the Take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? Well, I didn't study for any tests. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. This is not the kind of test you have to study for. <sighs> it's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon Trainer you'll be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter will be your lifelong partner. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, except for Pokemon Metal, where... Zoro was just a bad choice. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Jeez, kid, you're not very patient, are you? All right. Starting to sound like Matthew McConaughey. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, uh, you can talk to my aide. Now, Dave, are you ready to take the test? Sure, just going blind. Let's do it. Excellent. So, without further ado, when you got a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first... I didn't see it! Ah, damn it! That was easy. Give me a tougher one. Well, I guess I got it right. Okay, next question then. Which TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Pro pro probably Hyper Beam. What's a TM anyway? Well, I'll tell you later. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? Would win an all out battle? Probably Ampharos. I mean, just say, if you're thinking of, like, typing and stuff, because it matters, like, levels and moves and all that good stuff. So, I mean, yeah, you could have an Ampharos, but all it knows is, like, tackle, somehow. I mean, it ain't gonna beat a Gyarados. Uh, and that's flying, but it's also, like, poison. I'm gonna go ahead and say Ampharos. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. No, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. To become the very best, like no one ever was. Uh, I guess that one. 
I would be a Pokemon master. Nobody's going to stand in my way. I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. It's time to analyze your results. Okay, I finished my analysis. Ooh. Dave, you seem to be a trainer who doesn't hesitate, who won't hesitate for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. So the saying, "The best defense is a good offense," is probably your mantra. You have a burning spirit that within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you, Raptorich. I'm probably gonna go with him anyway, just cause fire. Okay. Go ahead and take it, Dave. Oh, so that's how. Oh, you don't actually get to pick. You just gotta match up whichever one. I'm not gonna give nicknames because I want to see what they evolve into, and so so I can keep them apart. If I ever do a Nuzlocke, ever do a Nuzlocke, there's no pro promises here because I've never done one. Uh, you know. So I am tired of waiting. They've got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm, probably the water type. Theo, well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe you're just, just that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Oh, it gave him the one he's that I'm strong against. Orchinx. Yeah, my first Pokemon. Meh. You have Pokemon and I have Pokemon. You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. Alright. Oh, yeah, this... This kid. Rival Theo would like to battle. Oh, it's a little grass cat. Oh! That's interesting. Ember, I guess. You dumb fuck. Oh, I don't, I don't know what's HP. I'm confused at how this is going. So my whole HP bar is that green bar there then. Yep. Huh, usually you go up a level when you beat your rival. But I was supposed to win! Not with that attitude. But, how? I'm supposed to be the b best trainer ever. That's uh, impossible. Good trainers never l lose. I, I, yeah. Please, don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. It's already shaping up to be an interesting game. Yeah, I wanted to be a, an unbeatable trainer. Uh, how come I couldn't win? I, I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and Dave's, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. <sighs> That's an elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master the type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way! I want a do-over! How come Dave gets a better starter? That isn't fair! Well, I'm going home! Cry, baby! Man, Jesus! Uh, he took that harder than I had hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid, after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he's imagined. Uh, I'm going out to the entrance of Route 01. Cool, it starts at 1. By the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Dave. Alright, well. I'm going to teach a new Pokemon potion right now. Okay. I got one of you! Okay, let's see. So is this the thing that he had? I don't think so. So I gotta go to... Theo's house, which is here? No, that's old people. Gee, no, I'm getting stuck on everything. What was here? Oh, god damn it. 
Forgot where it was already. Had to have been this side then. Yep, okay. Yeah, he's crying. Cry, baby. What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I swear if you did anything to hurt him. Oh, so that's how it is. So you get the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm. I see. That explains it. A harsh lesson to be lesson, to be sure. But losing isn't as much of a part of losing is as much of a part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still, crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo! Come downstairs right now, young man. <laughs> Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. David got a better starter than me. No, I'm never going to win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you can even begin. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down, so try and be strong for yourself, okay? <sighs> Dave, please be patient with my son. He looks up to you, you know. Dots. I nearly forgot. Dave, Theo, there's something I, uh, I have for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Dave, your father Kellen sent me these and told me to give them to both of you when your began your journeys. I can read. I'm sure it will come in useful. A Pokepod. My thoughts are exactly. It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the Pokemon region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Oh god, Youngster Joey flashbacks. <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Dave. <laughs> well, talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Dave, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving. I won't see you or Theo again for some time. Uh, again. You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant Epsilon. It is that guy! Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever seen. Uh, too soon. Best of luck on your journey, Dave. Alright, well. Got the running animation. It's just hilarious. Yeah. Alright, what's up? Hey there, Dave. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and field research assistant. Now watch closely. Wild Pokemon, as you probably already know, inhabit in tall grass, but that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves and water and even in cities if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Let me take a few steps in and... Look, it's a Chin Monk! They're very common around here. Hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. Go, Elatux! This little guy was the other starter you could have received. I think he's taking a shine to me, and I rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Now, the next stop is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it much easier to catch. Elatux, use tackle! <laughs> now that it's weakened, now is the chance to catch it. Pokeball, go! That's cool. And now that, that's how it's done. Now, Chin Monk are fairly easy, but you're sure to encounter a Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use special Pokeball. Uh, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it before too long. Yeah, probably. Dave, Theo, these are for you. Five? Oh, Pokedex. Now I thought he was going to give us five Pokeballs. Pokedex is a encyclopedia that will automatically update itself whenever you encounter or catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure to fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Pokeballs, there we go, okay. Necessary for catching Pokemon, of course. What's that thing the kids always say? Gotta catch them all. Oh, jeez. If you run out, you can catch, you can 
pick up more at the, any Pokemart. Moki Town doesn't have any, one of those, but there's one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 101. Uh, so, with that said, your lesson is now over. But you two have Pokepods, don't you? Here, let me input my number. Sweet. You can give me a call anytime, and I'll take a look at your Pokedex. How your Pokedex is coming along. If you do a good job collecting many different kinds of Pokemon, I might even have special rewards for you. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck on your journeys, both of you. All right. Well, let's let's get started, shall we? Dave, I don't care if you got the strongest starter. I'm still gonna be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle. Just you wait and see. Okay, well, is there any, any Pokemon here? No? Okay. Alright, Route 01! Route 01, Route 01, something. Just run along everywhere. Ah, first encounter! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so derpy looking. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Screech. I don't know if I want to catch this thing. I'll probably just catch it just for, you know, like, have it. But no, shit, wrong one. I saw the Pokeball and I was like, yeah, that one. God. I even think like the menu is a little better than the regular Pokemon games. What? I'm sorry, what? Uh no. Screw you, man. I I I'm good for that. I'll find a bunch of you everywhere. Oh, This this chin monk. All right, cool. I just didn't want to use Ember. Cool, level six. All right, well. Oh, already a trainer battle. I just started two. What do you have? Ow ten. Owl kitten! I get it now! I want one! Oh man, I was identified. They knew I have a rap torch. Just freaking Ember, shit out of it! Okay, if I don't get this thing in one more go. Okay, that was close. Cool! Alright, cool. Alright, well, let's just go to grass. It seems to, like, get a bad frame rate when I run. So I'm gonna save that for when I just need to travel. But we're exploring a bit, so... Oh, cool potion. I actually need one of those. Let's, uh... Ooh. Bag. Uh... No. There we go. There we go. Uh, ooh. Pokemon, Dave. Yeah. Alright, we'll save it real quick. Just to make sure. Alright. Okay, you're a battle too. Oh yeah, I just got a new Pokemon. I want to see how it fares. That's kind of cool that it give you a bunch of like kind of low level trainer battles bring it on I'm kind of scared this thing looks like it's like water and electric I'm just like eh, just because of the color scheme like I know that's a big thing of Pokemon like usually you can tell what type they are just by looking at them but like this one I think it's normal damn dude Need to go heal already. Oh, what? Oh, wait, what? Please die. I 
probably should have caught that Chien Monk. Well! Well! Uh... Huh. <laughs> uh... I'm learning? Question mark? <laughs> uh... Just... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna pretend that never happened. So... We'll just go this way. Oh, it's a baby! I'm gonna catch that one. I don't know. That thing looks like flying and electric, which is which is weird, which would be weird, I guess, because like it's kind of like having a water and electric type. Like, yeah, that happens because of, like electric eels and stuff. But like, you know, like Zapdos, I guess. And but, like just having another typing that is the weakness to the other type. It's just kind of weird. You son of a bitch! What is this, Pokemon Go? Come on. Come on. What the fuck? Like, seriously. But you scratch is gonna die. I'll go up a level, but I mean that's cool, but like what the hell man? Oh you even got the berry trees. Or in berries, yes please. Yes. Okay. Blah blah blah, put them in my pocket. Uh, Oh, well, I can't go that way. Might as well put an Orin Berry on. Where the heck is that? all the other stuff? Okay, then. Give. Okay, cool. Okay, well... Try to actually catch us something now. What are you, cup bug? This little bear caterpillar thing. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, if I can't catch you for whatever reason, I'm gonna be really mad. Alright. Finally, I caught something. Of course, it's a little bug type. Love bug Pokemon. Doubtful. It shares characteristics with bug and mammal Pokemon. Being in its presence has a calming effect. It is hot in my apartment again. All right. Oh, you could you gain experience from catching stuff. That is good. I wonder if I can fight that. Yep, we can fight her again. I know you did. Shut up. Bitch. Bring it on! Ember the shit out of it. Flame body. Neat. Yay, Orenberry. Thank you, buddy. That's definitely gonna help. And Ember. Alright, send in Burby. No, we're alright. We're alright. Whoosh. Alright. Okay, that only did three that time. Hmm. But, critical hit. We're done. Ruby! It's not as strong as I'd hoped. Ah, you only took 48 from me, but I took 200 from you. An antidote. Alright, because of potions and such, I'm gonna give uh, him another one. 
Another berry. Ooh, what do we get? A burby? Yeah. Alright, let's try to catch this one. I only got one Pokeball left, so... Let's try Ember and see how it does. Don't kill it! Okay, good. What the hell? The level 5 one did 3, and the level 3 one did 5 damage. What the heck? Uh, I don't know anything anymore. Come on! Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Alright, Burby. Yeah, right. It defends itself by dazzling opponents by flashing its brightly colored plump plumage. They are known for their elaborate... Their elaborate what? Elaborate what? Okay, well, we're out of Pokeballs. Let's see what's in this house. Hey, I'm a fisherman. These ponds next to my house have a wide variety of Pokemon. If you prove you are strong, I may give you my old fishing rod. But first, you need to defeat Maria, now Touch City's gym leader. So, I have to be probably the first gym leader and come all the way back. Ah, oh, dang, I was going to stop and switch so I could train them up. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I couldn't get it. I'm back. We're going to level up. What? I didn't even see it do anything. I was like, what? I think Scratch should be able to... Oh, I missed! Oh, Flash. Oh. They just learned Flash? I guess it's dazzling its plumage and stuff. But, like, that's just weird. Yeah! Woo! Okay. Switch Pokemon and we do Burby. I should probably nah. I should probably do Cubbug. Cubbug. What is it? Potion? Yeah. All right. Oh. I don't want to fight you yet. I'm gonna fight another Pokemon. Right, these are going to be longer episodes, by the way, as you can tell. Uh, I'm probably going to aim for somewhere around 40, 45 minutes uh, an episode. So, there's that. Uh, Pokemon. What could, does Burby know Gust already? Or is that a level 5 thing? Oh, no, it knows Gust. All right, we'll switch to you. Although it does have 5 health, so we'll see. Don't kill it. It's using string shot. Which I think lowers my speed. Yeah. Gust. Use charm. Okay. And I attack harshly fell. Yeah. Ooh. Alright, another gust. Come on. Ooh. Ah. So close. Alright. Alright, Barbie, you're getting an Oran berry. Definitely. There we go. Alright, we'll fight this guy. Aha! You over there! We're gonna battle now, okay? Alright, we'll fight this guy. We'll call it an episode. See what this bug catcher flood. Weird his parents hated him. Alright. Um, yeah, we'll send in, we'll send in Burby, even though it's a level underneath this cup bug, well, it should be all right. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> okay, that should be okay. Unless it doesn't suddenly use quick attack. Okay, good. All right, all right. Cubbug grew to level three. Yes. And then Burby went to four. And it learned growl. All right. 
Yes. I'm going to put in Cubug, but I'm going to switch to Raptorch this time. And also, this series is probably going to be mostly uncut. Uh, I mean, I I might do what Marilyn does. So, my girlfriend watches them, so... I know he does like grinding episodes, like he'll have an episode just for grinding, just so you can still see that he didn't like skip anything. So that, I might do that, I don't know. But we'll see, when the time comes to it, we'll see what's up. But if you guys want me to keep everything in, let me know. If you want me to do like grinding off screen or in a separate episode, let me know. Ember! Yeah. Oh, so close. But why? Okay. Good job. Cowboy grew up four. Woo! Whoa, that was wicked. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save here. And like I said, that's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. So if you like what you saw. Hit that subscribe button for more gaming goodness and keep being awesome, guys. Thanks so much for watching Pokemon Geranium. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do a few episodes of this and go back to Pokemon Metal and do a few episodes of that and just kind of go back and forth. So there will always be a Pokemon 1, just different series going on at the same time. So that's what's going to go on. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye!